We're here uh, working on the other end of our cable from Friday. So we are in a uh, basement here. It's chilly, it's chilly outside. Uh, so right behind that car where those two flags are, that's where we were splicing in. So there's four buildings uh, here. Um, there is some serious commotion that's happening in the apartment above me. I hope everything is all right. Um, but uh, flat drop, and I'm gonna be pretty much commandeering this little board. Um, as you see Comcast over here in their true typical Comcast fashion. Yeah, the, uh, <laughs> yeah, it looks looks good. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Um, so the plan I kind of came up with here is a combination of a few different new things. Um, my plan is to use these new house boxes. Uh, somebody actually gave these to us, like twenty of them, and I've never never used them because. We'll typically use uh, inside here a connector um, or a coupling, I should say. And this is just designed to only be a splice. So I'm going to be using uh, this guy here. I'm going to stick him in there. And uh, what I'll do is take these patch cables. And I'm actually going to cut them in half and use, um, you know, to make to make four pigtails, like longer pigtails. Um, got a uh, bracket mount to the wall, just like a rack, oop, upside down, little rack, uh, foldable, <laughs> little rack, 2U or 1U, I don't know what it is here, and then this guy, which is uh, FS, 16-port uh, splitter, um, and we're going to be handing this over to the maintenance folks. Once I turn this over, I'm going to put a map on the front, and, uh, Apartment one, two, three. Um, now there is 18 in the building I'm actually in. So, uh, you know, if all 16 people sign up, then what I'll be doing is bringing in an orange on that cable from the box outside. But that's that's something we'll, we'll cross another day. So I'm gonna uh, try to get this thing rigged, rigged up, nice looking on the wall here. Not take up uh, too too much space and. Uh, Kind of make this into a little montage, I guess. So, hope everybody is still interested in doing uh, doing this stuff. So, turn it like that. I mounted my box already, so I think I already made it. So, can uh, work on the table. This one will probably end up being even nicer for us. Zip ties in there. I kind of like this box more I'm messing around with it. I'm going to take my tube. I'm going to go around maybe once or twice. Oh, actually. Oh, now I'm starting to not like it. How are you even supposed to do that? Oh, okay. That's chilling.
secure right there too. I'm kind of digging this. Oh, and you know what? It can't beat free either. I'm expecting we get somewhere around uh, 20 dB. Uh oh. This doesn't want to cooperate. Huh. So I guess patch cables. Just refusing. Strip. We have to end up using a different cable. Spicer's gonna be mad at me. <whistles> Says you don't have a left fiber in. Well, my tools are cold, I guess. See if we get a first shot here. She going. Good deal. We'll test the power here in a second and Get this thing off my neck. Cool deal. Now the splicer is a, it does have a VFL and a power meter too, but I don't know what's wrong, but the power meter's like not calibrated right or something. It's never 100% uh, the same as the other one. It's from F, the FS one is pretty dang rock solid. Okay, so out there we were getting a negative. Uh, well, I forget now. Yep, so we're getting a negative four. Um, negative 4.2. And we'll plug it into this splitter. And I'm pretty sure we are going to get. Um, I am going to clean it too because this is a pretty important line. 
And we gotta roll this up in here. So that's kind of that. I just wanted to do a little, little video of how I uh, stand and splice there. Not really a whole lot to it. It's a little tedious. It's almost like if you had a little tray for your cleaver too, it'd be pretty awesome. But this is just a sticky. It sticks right in there and I put all my spare uh, going on. So I'm gonna roll this up and see what happens. And we'll check our power on that. And then we're gonna move to the next one. Okay, it's kind of a final operation here. I do like this box. It's pretty chill. I mean, you wouldn't want to put a bunch in there, but just for two two fibers, four fibers, it's fun. Um, coming out of there with my feed up to my common. And then I got a test cable here. Getting a negative 17. Nothing wrong with that. So everybody in this building will have negative... 17 negative 18 and a half maybe by the time it gets to two connectors and their modem and length of the cables some of them are up to like 150 foot what uh, turned out pretty good all right it's uh basement number two and uh you know what there's a whole lot nicer than the other one i mean hell there's a sofa in here um, same hustle, except this one's already got a customer pulled in, it looks like. This is going to be C, C1. I'm in building B, so I don't understand. That must be a long run. And uh, here's my flat drop. We're going to be uh, doing the same thing again. Um, probably just going to go ahead and skip it. Uh, looks like this air handler is probably not going to turn off. It's a little on the cold side today. Um, and there's no <laughs> missing some parts there. But somebody's storing some kind of files down here. Pretty cool. Uh, I'll probably just be doing a, some uh, video when I'm all done on this one. Alrighty. Well, just gotta get, uh, get a little bit of my mess cleaned up here, but it's worked out pretty good. I um, actually had a customer on this one, so I went ahead. I'm going to go back to the office and get a really nice set of labels. Um, kind of rigged up on this guy. But um, I used Velcro here. I figure that as this grows, we can just kind of uh, Velcro our cables in. It's a little bit of built-in easy um, management. Let me put a zip tie on that. And uh, well, this was just from where it was. Yep. So, got our splice in. Plenty of slack here. Um, I don't know. These little house boxes are kind of growing on me. Um, you know, kind of, kind of neat. Eh, that's how old they are. Silly code. <laughs> but that's uh, probably it for the day. I might go look at the other two, but. They are in basements that are only five feet tall, so they're for crawling. And uh, we're going to be doing a splice in a, in a crawl space uh, tomorrow, I guess. Two of them. Um, but not too shabby. Hopefully, hopefully more folks sign up in the building now that we'll put some door knockers on and let them know they can get service and such. But, alrighty. Well, not, not super action-packed today, but... It's just another day.